What's up guys and welcome back to another seven days to die with the Elita Killer. Just trying to live the good life. Um, I'm starting out a little bit early. Um, this is day seven so what I kind of want to do is try to go out a little ways. Find a place to call home. Oh. Or a place to build a home or another. Um, and we're on day seven, so whatever we find, we need to find a sturdy place that we can at least hunker down on the roof or something. I don't know, because it's it's gonna be it's gonna be popping. It's gonna be popping. Must be the next day. I guess that's the music for the next day. So, if we keep heading west, we should come to a crossroads, and then what we want to do is head right north. Because on my map, that's the only area I have not been. And I see you over there jumping. You have fun, man. I'm not going to interrupt you, my dude. Check it to the side of the road. What is that? Is that just a house in the middle of the lake? I might want to call that home. <laughs> but how does that work? The zombies. Just jump straight forward. Right, well, we need to speed run this. Oh! Leave me alone! Do I look like I'm a pork chop to y'all? Probably. Oh my god, he 
I feel like I'm in the movie Tremors. Can't, can't touch the ground. Touch the ground, you did. Should be able to just drop on down on there, pick that bag up, and maybe reach some of the items over there. My idea is finding enough place to call. Dude, that's. Sealed crate. Sure. Undone. Need stool. Oh, cross me. Alright, so. Oh, yes. Money. Everything important there. There was like one little bag in the corner, but I don't feel like it. That's a biker dude. I'm not gonna deal with the biker dude. Biker dude's kind of OP in this game for us. So we're gonna eat that food. Apparently, is this water too perfect? So we got this on here. It's all boarded up. Anybody's come this way. So I might be actually coming across like fresh items. Uh, 
I don't see anything I need in there. Nope. Just gotta go. Got some board wire around the top. Interesting. Alright, let's continue. Got about 13 hours before I have to start finicking finding someplace to go. Alright. Got a road here. Guess we'll go this way. A lot of tires, we probably could harvest some of those, but I'm not too worried about it right now. I'm worried about finding a place to stay the night and ride out the storm. And, um, Savagery, Savage Country might be a good place to... Three skeletons. I'm guessing three difficulty or three zombies. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. Boopas. Lots and lots of boopas. Alright. So here's my idea. We're gonna be chilling on the top of the ceiling. I'm hoping that's enough to buy us some time. Um, Cause the chances of them destroying everything is pretty limb. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Itchy eyes. Get some eye drops. Oh, uh, what was the eye drops called? What was that? You did? Oh. This might be okay. fall towards you. Alright, what was he protecting? There's literally nothing up here. Some AC units. Probably get some feather units, right? Oh. I also need to pay attention to make sure there's no other ways up here. We're good now. 
Alright, let's go get some wood. We're gonna need a lot of I really don't know how spawning works in this game. It's fine. Just paranoid. It's fine. I'm just gonna chill right here. So the plan is I want to put some spiky barriers kind of around that little truck. Because it looks like they know they go that way. Um, other things we could probably do is um I don't know maybe some around the industry maybe where are we at and now we gotta build the fence in thanks steward Tony over here. Just knock down another tree and we'll go over there and figure out what we're gonna do. See how many we can actually make of those things. I wanna make as many as we can. And like I said, the main goal is try to survive. I'm not expecting us to survive. So, there's something below. How did you get up here? That's not good. Oh great, my items broke and it's a stupid running woman. put this here. Case scenario, we'll just run around the rooftop. I don't think we're gonna live long if we do that, but that's one thing we can do. 
And another thing we can do is set a waypoint here so we know exactly where this box is. Okay. So before I forget. I don't know the difference between a quick and a regular one, but it is what it is. Can I not place that? Time. So let me dig cut here, guys. Let me chop some trees down. Let me lay some spikes everywhere. I'll bring you back once the seven days is about to take off. So see y'all when hell breaks loose. All right, guys. We are back, and um, yeah, hell's about to break loose for us. Um, Semi fortify the areas around us. The best I can with what I had. Um, I also placed a land block. I don't know, because I know the land block is supposed to help stop zombies respawning, but I think that's just from like regular houses. So I don't know how that's going to work. So I just placed it. I wanted to make sure we can eliminate anything spawning on top of this roof to kill us. <laughs> now, I only have the important things I need on me right now, which is the spear and the tools and stuff, because we need to defend ourselves. But as you can hear, there be some lightning going on, and I am kind of afraid for my life. Um, if for some reason I fall off of this thing, I have it saved way mark to this spot, and I also I'm probably just gonna run it, run it. For to the hills. I do have some blocks. Maybe we can build up and get back up here. I don't know how crazy this is going to get. Um, I'm actually pretty scared, but I figure this is what I can do to tick us to the next day. So if anybody joins the server, they're not like, oh god, we're in the middle of day seven night. We're dead. <laughs> but yeah, you can hear the thunder. The thunder look sounds like actual thunder which is kind of crazy um i don't know how this is gonna go guys like i'm really you know panicking a little bit um i just don't know i just don't know we gotta do what we gotta do now there's stuff that's gonna spawn down there i just gotta hope they don't like able to like break that stuff and then get it to the ceiling if they get in the ceiling we're screwed like that's my only fear is that they just to wax they up here if they get up here we're screwed like we're pretty much gonna be running until daytime <laughs> but they can run faster because they're crazy so we may just like try to loop them and then just stack up blocks to get up here um, guys, we are back and we survived the blood knife. Holy smokes. Um, I thought I said I had an achievement. There we go. Oh, really? So, I don't know if you can hear it, they're still fighting it up. I was hoping I could just pick these things up, but I guess I can't. I think you could. You can pick up the boxes. I kind of want to jump down and see. I'm pretty sure all our guys are down there having a party still. 
But there is a loot bag down there, and I kind of... Oh, you sneaky little bugger. Back up, sir. Sir! No car insurance. Probably gonna have to do is grab out stuff and run up here or something. I don't know. But I wanna get that loot bag. Kinda of curious how much did they tear That was me hitting the spike or not, but I panicked. We should be fine. Camp food, health food, and nothing we can use here. But yeah, guys, we survived the first Blood Moon. I'm super stoked. Now we just need to figure out a base. We have a little bit of time to figure that out, but uh, yeah, that's it for me today. I am going to go take a break. This is very stressful, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Until then, y'all stay safe out there. Peace!